Hi everyone, Charmaine here and welcome to another video. Today we are doing a little paper craft tutorial. Let me show you how I made this teeny tiny origami box that is self-closing or has this built-in lid. The folds will be a bit tricky but I will try my best to explain the whole process to you in this video. But of course, before that, do click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So in origami, you're going to need paper, and I'm using book paper for this project. It is really up to you what type of paper that you will use, but just bear in mind that the thinner your paper is, the more difficult the folds will be. Ideally, origami paper should be at least 180-150 GSM in thickness. So for this tutorial, I will be using this book paper and it just gives it that extra vintage look for my box. But you can use any type of paper that you want and any measurement as well as long as it is a square. So when you have your square, you will want to fold a horizontal line on the center. So when you're folding it, you want to make the creases or the folds as pronounced as possible. After the horizontal line, you will want to fold it and create a vertical line as well. So fold it in the center the same way that I did it on screen. Once you have that cross as your guideline, you will want to put the corner, one of the corners, and fold it towards the center to create a triangle you will want to do this for all four corners so the more accurate your folds are the easier the box will come together later on my folds aren't super perfect they're a bit skewed they're not 90 degree angles but if you try your best to make the folds and the square and the shapes as accurate as possible you will have an easier time assembling this one later on so once you have folded all four corners towards the center we will proceed to the next step so you flip your square with openings and then the part without the openings will be facing you this time so try to measure at the one third points and fold there so you will want to fold at the one third points and then make sure you press down and make your marks as these are important for later on so you fold both sides inwards and as you can see the sort of like the lip of the point of the triangle are facing outwards but you will want to fold those in as well. So don't skip a step because these folds that we're making are essential in putting together the box later on. Now unfold it and then just turn it and do the other side. This time you already have like a mark where the lines intersect. So you can just fold on there and do the same thing, fold at the one third mark. Do the exact same thing and fold down, make the folds pronounced I mean, and also fold down the corner lips and create the very important folds. Now once you have that and you've done both sides, just unfold it again. Now it's time to work on the corners, so you have your corners right here, and then as you can see there's like a diamond, the small diamond, you just want to fold that in and create a triangle, and you do this for all four corners. And that's two, and then the third one, and then we have the fourth corner, and voila! These are most of the folds that you will have to do. Now it's time to undo your paper and go back to the square. Okay, this that was the easy part and we go to the more difficult part 
which is putting the box together. Now you go and grab one corner and then this is not a necessary step but since I'm using a very thin kind of paper, I find that a dash of glue helps along the way. At one corner, we fold it twice and then for the other corner, we fold it three times. And on the third fold, that's where I apply the glue and then I turn it to the other corner and this corner I'm going to do two times as well and then repeat it with the last corner that we have this corner we will fold this one three times before we apply the glue now it's time to add more creases and you can see that line there the one third marks you will want to press down on that inwards as you can see on screen and just press that down and now this next step is not in any of the videos that i have watched while i was trying to figure out this fold but i found that this step was most helpful when putting the box together so you just want to press down on the shorter sides as well this really helps in forming the box later on okay this is the tricky part i hope i will be able to explain this to you in the best and easiest manner possible so here we have the diagonals so you have these diagonals and you see where my fingers are at that's where you push down and create your first fold so just push down and you will have your first fold and then keep an eye on that same diagonal because that is what you will push inwards again so i hope you will be able to catch this so you have your diagonals and you will push it inwards again as you can see okay yeah, this part is a bit messy but yes the same diagonals push it in on one side and then push it in on the other side as well so you were working with the same diagonals and you can see that you have now completed like half of the box so you now must do the exact same thing on the other side so this is me just trying to make this half of the box snug just so it'll be easier for me to do the same fold on the other side so as you can see i'm working again on the diagonal that same diagonal fold and then pushing it inwards as well it's a bit tricky but if you followed all the folds to the t this part will be easier so once you are able to push in all the diagonal inwards on both sides your box will come together so i didn't cut this video purposely so you can see that i also still struggle with this fold because i'm using a very thin kind of paper but yeah there you go so you'll have to adjust the folds as well but overall this cute little box is already functional so as you can see here i am stuffing it with dried flowers and i just allow the pink hydrangeas to peek out and i tie it with a satin ribbon anyway guys i hope i was able to explain it to you as clearly as i could have and if you do get a chance to recreate this fold or any other paper projects that i have on here don't forget to tag me i'd love to see your work I'll end the video here and I will see you next time.